anybody that trains with you learns to measure distance in seconds, not in feet. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? How oh, far? Sure. Yes. How, far, how so, far? How far away is that? That's a second. <laughs> That's exactly. Two so you know, people look at uh, you know many different things. I'm sure you've heard of the 21 foot rule and all these types of you know, they're 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 uh, they're examples of what we're discussing, and um, the average time for an average officer out of a level one retention holster uh, to make placement on a on a target, say 10 yards, roughly ballpark, 30 feet, 10 yards, um, is about two seconds. And so we, we wonder why is it the two second? Why is that not five seconds? Or why isn't it, you know, 10 seconds? Well, it's because it's the amount of time it takes a military aged male to close the distance of 10 yards from a dead stop to full sprint to reach you. So in other words, in 10 yards on a whistle or a timer, that guy's coming at you with a blade. You have under two seconds to get combat effective round placement on that life-threatening attack. So in that scenario, within that range and that time parameter, your ability to rely on your sidearm as a effective defense tool from the holster is pretty much non-existent. Well, I mean, there are good shooters out there. You know as well as I do. They, if you train and you're at, at the higher levels, higher skill levels, you can make those effective round placements. You can. You can do it. But there's the time factor. Let's say you have three or four perfect hits. Let's be more generous. You emptied half your magazine into the guy's upper thoracic. Rock solid hits. Do you, do you believe that's going to do anything in the next second after that? No. No. How about the next 10 seconds, 15 seconds? No. 30 seconds, minute. No, he's, he's, he's now he knows it's life and death. And of course he's going to go for it. So what I'm saying is you can't rely 100% on the weaponry. You also have to have other skills such as knowing how to get off the X. Where do you move? How do you move? Because, you know, everything's dynamic. Bad guy's moving. You're moving. Everything's in motion. You know, there is a technology to getting yourself off the act, getting yourself to a safer position, and utilizing the weapon in self-defense effectively to lower your scale of injury. 